Alright, so we're back with the only game that ends more lives than every other game in the world combined. It's Universe Sandbox 2. Welcome everyone to Earth, otherwise known as Epileptic Seizure Simulator 2019. Let's go ahead and stop this. In the comments section of the last Universe Sandbox, people had said, Gray, stop blowing the Earth up. It's where I keep my stuff. And so I thought I would give you guys even more Earth this time to keep your stuff in. So what we're going to do is we're going to comp continue to increase the radius of the earth and I want to see what happens eventually I want to get the earth to be at least as big as the sun now the first immediate concern I could see with this and again I'm no freaking scientist this is just a guesstimate from me is that uh there would probably be enough gravity to crumple us like sad tissue paper to the point where our spines would pipe cleaner floss out of our rectums. I don't know, I think no matter where you're from, that kind of exists in the realm of not too cool. But I mean, it's science, so rectum pipe cleaning, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slow the earth down so it's going a little less insane. And we're gonna start like increasing the, the, the radius of it just a little bit, like nothing crazy to start off with. Let's see what, so 15.1 degrees Celsius, what's the friggin' surface gravity, 982? Let's increase the radius to, I don't know, let's say like double. Okay, surface gravity, pretty bad. Um, probably not really fantastic. The moon is still doing its thing, so we haven't like drawn the moon in to the point where our gravitational pull is blowing up the planet. On the plus side, Florida is much bigger now because the uh, radius of the Earth is so large. So if you want waterfront property, it's going to be a buyer's market. I'm not 100% sure. It kind of looks like the moon is starting to swivel or maybe that's the earth. I'm really not sure. Let's go ahead and speed things up and see if we screwed up the climate. All right, everything's totally fine. The only difference is now we're all starting to become Goku because of the heavy gravitational pull. Let's go double from where we are. All right, 2,600 kilometers and the moon just, I think, I don't know what the hell just happened. Did the moon just disappear or did it just impact with Earth? Something just happened. The moon suddenly disappeared. It may have just like noped out of the entire, I don't know, out of the entire universe or it's gone. I, I have no clue where it went. I want to show you all something as we kind of like float through the orbits here. As we scroll out, we're going to notice that something was ejaculated out into the universe. I'm pretty sure that was the moon. I think that we just kicked a field goal with the moon and it's gone because if the moon hit the earth, it would be doing some damage. On a side note, surface gravity is now even worse. Everything's still fine with the earth, so let's double it again. Watching the earth grow in front of me is cool. We are now at 52,000 kilometers in radius. The mass is now almost two Jupiters. I kind of wonder if it'll start pulling other planets into it. I don't know. I don't think it's dense enough. I don't, I'm not sure that it's weighty enough to do that yet, but hold on. Let me speed things up here. You can see it's getting closer to the sun. Like it's being flushed down the, the drain of the sun anus over here. And because of that, the surface temperature is slowly starting to rise. It's not bad. It's just more like the rest of the planet feels like Florida all the time now. All right, let's double the radius again. I don't click on the double button because I'm afraid that it will spontaneously explode the Earth, so I like to do it slowly but surely. We are now about to surpass three Jupiters in mass. What the hell? Uh... <laughs> Planet Earth just turned into Jupiter. I, I'm, I mean, it looks like it anyway. It turned into, like, a gas giant. I don't... The composition, I'm pretty sure, is still exactly the same. It is. What the hell happened? Is the elevation different? What did I do to the Earth? How come the picture of it just randomly changed to this? This doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, it's 84 degrees Celsius. Sweet baby Jesus. The temperature went up really fast. So I think the immediate issue here is that everyone's cooking. And it is heating up really freaking fast. There's the pole which is turning to steam. So that's not cool. It's created an entire water world, effectively, because of how hot it is. Unfortunately, I think this means that I killed everyone again. What happens if we increase it more? Actually, hold on, let me let time go on. How hot is this thing gonna get? Okay, it's starting to pull Venus out of orbit. So the strength of the gravitational pull of Earth is beginning to make the solar system itself go lopsided. Just thought you'd all like to know. Venus has now turned itself into a glowing coal of sadness. It's only about a thousand degrees over on Venus. Could be worse. Oh, it's beginning to pull the sun. At this point, the Earth is yanking the sun's chain and the sun is pissed. 
So on a cold day, Venus goes down to 433 degrees Celsius. Will Mars ever reach the positive numerics of temperature, I wonder, because of what Earth is doing to everything at this point? I'm surprised. It doesn't look like Mars is being affected by Earth as much as Venus. <laughs> Venus just got jacked. That was like a side swipe over there. Something out of Miami freeway. Venus just got shot out of orbit. I think it's eventually going to come by Venus. On the side note, Venus isn't a burning death trap anymore. So your flesh doesn't have to melt. Venus 2, the return. Venus did come back. It's getting slingshotted even further out now, but it did come back to tell Earth what a bitch it is. I don't think Venus is coming back from that. Probably. Never mind. Venus does come back. It gets re slingshotted out every time, but it does come back. Mars is getting screwed up now, too. What the hell kind of weird David Blaine freaking illusionary craft is going on here? What the hell is this? Oh, the Earth is causing the sun to corkscrew its way out of control, and that's shifting the entirety of the solar system to our right. Okay. Let's double it again. Oh, what the hell? The Earth just turned into the sun. At least that's what it looks like. The surface temperature is now 2,800 degrees Celsius. Okay, the Earth is on fire. And it's freaking awesome. If you can pause this at just the right time, a boom shock. No, I freaking screwed that up like a scumbag. Heinous, come on. There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, if you can pause it at just the right time, you get to see flares coming off of the earth in this little spectator area over here. There it is. Random flare coming off the earth. Freaking sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and speed time along here just to see what else happens. The sun is now getting jerked around real bad. This pattern is awesome. It looks really cool. Every time I feel like eating a Frisbee, I play this game and everything is so nice. You get to see the earth flare in slow motion now, which is pretty slick. Let's double it again. I think we're right about doubled now. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. On the plus side, the year's gotten a lot shorter. So yeah, you get summer break quicker. Huh? This is what the solar system... Mercury's gone. Mercury just went flying off. We lost it. Okay, so we've lost Mercury. I'm pretty sure we've lost Mars at this point. Venus also getting fired off into the nether realm. So we have mostly destroyed a lot of the solar system here. The bits and pieces of the cosmic antidepressants that are surrounding everything look really cool. Let's double it again. On a side note, when we double it this time, it's going to be larger than the radius of the sun at that point. The Earth is now getting to be as hot as the sun, thanks to its size. Venus is gone. We've got Neptune, Saturn, and Jupiter and Uranus. That's what's left at this point. We're doubling the Earth again. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this will be the last time we're gonna be able to double this without something awful happening. <sighs> you can visibly see the Earth growing now. I think it's a little bit smaller than that though. It's supposed to be right about there. The sun's now playing hopscotch. It is taking the sun out for a walk. It's like walking the dog, only, you know, the dog was really, really hot. Not like, you know, like temperature wise. We need some liquid plumber up in here because this flush is not happening quick enough. The orbital period for Neptune is 838 years now. Okay, things are getting pretty bad now. It's so powerful in mass and radius that, <laughs> oh God, there's all sorts of celestial objects flying out. Now we need to increase its mass because the size is way bigger than the sun, but the mass is not correct. So let me go ahead and uh, let's make it twice the mass of the sun and see what this does. Can you, you can actually see weird stuff starting to happen. Nothing yet. About four times the mass of the sun. We lost Neptune, Pluto, and Jupiter. The only thing left is Saturn, Uranus, and the sun as they create this 1980s laser show. <laughs> Eight times the mass of the sun. What the hell just happened? I think, yep. The Earth just went supernova. Crap. Well, Saturn is now 31,000 degrees Celsius. Uranus is 24,000 degrees Celsius. And the supernova explodes, eviscerating all life. Venus got the least of it. Over in Venus, it's only 398 degrees Celsius. I'm going to give you all the opportunity to uh, see what happens when you increase the mass of Earth immediately. So if you just hit the times two, you're met with several stages of grief. You're going to notice right here, if you watch, the Earth is uh, fairly normal. 
If we do times two, nothing really changed it looked like. One more time, things still look okay. For some reason, like it almost looks like the white cloud cover is getting more expansive as it gets more massful. I don't know if it's not the universe splooging on Earth. I'm sure there's some scientific reason for this. Two more, Earth is still doing good. It's losing a bunch of radius, which makes it sad. Let's go up to 16 Earths, looking stacked now. How about 32, 64, 128? Still nothing really too bad, other than a lot more cloud cover, something happening. Again, it's like spewing off goo into the atmosphere. 1.6 Jupiters, 3.2, six. Right here at 25 Jupiters, you get this friggin' problem, where the Earth begins to heat up a lot. Right at 103 Jupiters, this happens, which is where the Earth turns into a little miniature sun. There goes the real sun, <laughs> shooting off into an exploding chunk past the Earth because the Earth is now 25 times its friggin' mass. At this point, the Earth became so weighty that the full brunt of the sun smashed into it, creating a supernova that once again, destroys all life in our galaxy. Great, something could still be alive. It's 8,000 degrees Celsius on Pluto. Everyone's dead. Okay, that's awesome. I just straight up multiplied the radius by 10 and the earth turned into this sweet thing. It's an earth nova and it's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, straight up, how freaking sweet does that look? We're talking dreidel style earth whooping that ass of the entirety of the solar system. Come on, baby. Drag everything in there. You know you can. The sun ain't got time for this. What happens if we just times 10 it again? Okay, now things are kind of getting out of hand, but it looks pretty cool. The mass, if you notice, is like stable. So it keeps the same mass, which means it doesn't have to turn into this crazy black hole thing that it often does. Let's do top. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I was going to say, let's see what else we could do. But uh, another times 10. And the universe has, I guess, recreated itself in a way. All these different planets will go off at, <laughs> Jesus, 4,000, 5,000 degrees Celsius. So the moment that the Earth goes supernova, Mars immediately begins warming up, which is pretty cool. So, you know, people may be able to live there, but I have a feeling that the warmth is going to continue into the realm of ridiculousness. The Earth is now sweet rave partying with no equal. Uh, yeah, Mars is at 100 degrees Celsius now. The pulsating Earth Nova is growing and shrinking, and it looks awesome. And now, the Earth, once again, will destroy the solar system and make me sad that I can't manage to get through a game without killing all life in the known area repeatedly. But if you're gonna go, you might as well go like this. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Until the next time, stay foxy, myself.